Hello to your BREP3 students. Best regards from me, Mr. Ahmed al -Fi, and let's get ready for our new lesson in Unit 4, Science and Technology. As we're going to know about certainty and uncertainty. First, there are many questions about what can I say if I'm certain that something is true or is actually happening. What if it's not true or not happening? And I'm also sure about that. What shall I say if I'm not sure? Today, we're gonna know. Here's our first rule, must be. We use must be to express something that is true or is actually happening, and we're sure about that. Must be replaces the present form of verb to be in an affirmative sentence. It comes after a subject and before a noun or an adjective. In addition to verb to be, it replaces I'm sure, I'm certain, I'm positive, I feel sure, I feel certain, I feel positive, certainly, surely, definitely, and I have no doubt. For example, he's definitely the new student. Here, we remove verb to be is and the word definitely. We use must be after the subject and say he must be the new student. Here's our second rule, can't be. We use can't be when we are sure that something is untrue or not actually happening. Can't be also comes after a subject and before a noun or an adjective. It replaces verb to be but in the negative form. In addition to verb to be, it replaces I feel sure, I'm sure, I feel certain, I'm certain, I feel positive, I'm positive, certainly, surely, definitely, and I have no doubt. For example, they aren't the children who have broken the window, I'm sure. We can replace verb to be and say, they can't be the children who have broken the window. Can't be also replaces it's impossible, but in the affirmative sentence. Here is an example. It's impossible that he is the same person we met on the train. Here we can say, he can't be the same person we met on the train. Let's move to our third and the last rule for today, might be. We use might be when we aren't sure about something at present. It comes after a subject and before a noun or an adjective. Might without be is expected to come before an infinitive. Might and might be replace I'm not sure or I'm not certain it's possible or it's a probable. Possibly, probably, likely, perhaps, maybe, I don't know or I don't think so. For example, it's impossible that she's at home. We say she might be at home. Another example, he will probably travel to London. We say he might travel to London. It replaces will and might comes before an infinitive travel. Let's have some practice about what we have just studied. Rewrite the following sentences using the words in brackets. First one. STEM school students must be hardworking. We need to use 
can't be. You have 30 seconds to answer this. Okay. Let's say that must be here will be replaced by can't be, but the adjective is hard working. Okay, we reverse the meaning of the sentence. So hard working here must be reversed or the opposite must come. The opposite of hard working may be lazy. So we say that STEM school students can't be lazy. Let's move to the other sentence. I'm not sure if Nada will visit us next week. Here we have to use might. Might replaces I'm not sure, okay, but it also replaces will. We shall say Nada might visit us next week. The last one. Ahmad lives in an old house. I'm sure he isn't rich. Okay? We notice here that the sentence is negative and we use must, which we use in, a, in an affirmative sentence. So, the adjective here must be turned into the opposite. The opposite of rich is, that's right, poor. So, we shall say, he must be poor. That's all for today, and thank you for watching, and good luck.